सेंट्रल लोग में Uh, a lot of uh, thread work. There is. Yes. Um, it's all on knit. It's, it's all, all on knit. knit. The structuring and the silhouettes is very Western. But at the same time, that the work that they've used, the Madhubani work, motives, that they've done, yeah. motives that they've done, is all very Indian. So it's a great fusion of, you know, not forced, but very organically coming together, yeah. which I think is fantastic. Yeah. We missed you at the Fashion Week for two, three seasons. How has yes. it come back with me? <laughs> Lovely, in fact. It's really nice. I'm, I, you're right. I think it's been a while since I've been here. And it's, the energy is fantastic, and it's so nice to be here on, on stage. Yeah. Something like this, where would you want to sport it? I think. Uh, most of these uh, events that we have, uh, whether yeah, it's the red, carpet, the red events, carpet events or even otherwise, I think it just depends on the kind of makeup that you go with. If you just go easier with your hair and makeup, then you could wear something like this even for a Evening. not so formal event, you know. So I think it's very yeah. that way, uh, yeah, pliable. Neha, could you please talk about the inspiration from the ancient Um the inspiration is Madhubani art, and uh, basically, I, f I, what the research I did was that Madhubani has never been presented in a full and you know in a complete way, wherein people could really know what the Madhubani art is. Like it is yet uh, been approached in a way of getting some painting done or you know thing, but I have actually tried to incorporate Madhubani in various ways, like creating prints and knits and embroideries, and uh, we continue to explore what more we can do with Madhubani. So the whole central idea was for me that uh, you know the demand of today's woman is to wear comfortable clothing. So how is it that I can put Indian art on this comfortable clothing at a couture level? So that is yeah, what. Yeah, like uh, mostly you always see these paisleys. You know, that's the only Indian thing, so to speak, that you find on the world fashion scene. But I think it's good to get more motives and more Indian, you know, such things, prints, out. You know, with it, Westerns. And it's like you know, in India, we actually ha boast about the best skillsmen, best artists, best weavers, best yarns, best fabrics. Then why is it that we aren't doing a very healthy exchange of what India can offer as well, as in in rooted being India? It's like, you know, India was always a place of creation. So my need was that how is it that I can, like, you know, Indian history is very grand. She's very ha. passionate about this. Yeah, I'm Even when we have very chat, passionate like, about yeah, how I can I put like, India, awesome. Indian art there, up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all her. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I love, I, I, I love, I love nose rings. I love anything which is Indian, Indian. which has got a bit of a edge to it. You know, <laughs> I think it's really nice. Um, yeah, and I think it looks nice on me, so I like it. Yeah.